Hello and welcome to Noel's Retro Lab Nibble Edition. I've been doing some SMD soldering lately and it's clear that I need some help with those tiny little components. Now I've looked online for reviews and I've seen some really expensive like microscopes and other equipment being suggested like over a thousand dollars and there's just no way that's worth it to me right now. But then I've had some friends also recommend some much less expensive equipment. So I'm going to review two of those today. This episode started because I mentioned in our Discord server that I was getting some magnifying glasses and a microscope, and Tommy immediately asked me to make a video about it. And then other people also started asking for a similar review. So here is your video, Tommy and Tron Magnum. For everybody else, if you haven't been to the Discord server yet, I highly recommend it. It's a small, tightly knit group of like-minded people. It's actually really fun. So if you are not there yet, check it out. The link is in the description. So before we start, I wanted to give you some context. This is the only thing that I have right now to help me see really small things. So the bar is pretty low. This is a not very good helping hand with a pretty bad magnifying glass. But I mean, it's been better than nothing. So you could definitely put something there and you see it bigger than it was before. Now, one of the things that I want to do with this magnification system is I want to be able to solder in real time. So things with any kind of delay, those are out. That rules out, as far as I know, most USB microscopes. So I wanted something, either a lens, that there's obviously no delay there, or a microscope without any or appreciable delay. With that being said, let's move on to the first of the two systems I'm reviewing today. So the first one is a set of magnifying glasses, which is just a slightly better system than that other magnifying glass that I just showed you. This is actually pretty comfortable. It fits, um, it fits in your head. It has this very nice nose rest. It feels pretty solid. It has a set of batteries here. So it has, I think, three AAA batteries. So, I mean, that right away gives you an idea of the kind of weight and heft of the uh, of these glasses. And those are to have an LCD light in here that you can turn on and off and you can't really see it here very much, but it's, it's definitely quite noticeable. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty noticeable. And then the cool thing about this is that it comes with a set of lenses and each of them says the magnification factor. So this is just times one. I'm not sure what the purpose of the times one is. I guess it changes your, your focus point a little bit, but we have times one, times one and a half, two, two and a half, and then jumps to three and a half. These are solid glass lenses. I mean, they have, they have a, again, they have some weight to them. They're not just plastic ones. And here, let's try the middle one, for example. So this one is times two, and it just snaps right here, like that. Let's see if I managed to give you an idea of the magnification. There you go, that's, um, that's pretty clear. So that's two and a half times, and it looks great. This is a very comfortable um, magnification for things like this. And then we can just swap it out very easily. This is the three and a half one. There we go. So this will be for much smaller SMD components or maybe even just to review that all the joints are good after the soldering. One of the important things when working with magnification glasses is how far the focus point is. If it's too close, it won't be comfortable to work with a soldering iron, for example. So here I'm grabbing the middle set of lenses and putting it on the glasses. And that's about the workable range from that extension to a little closer. So that's pretty good. There's definitely a lot of room to work in there. And that's with the light on. Yeah, it's very helpful. Now let's try the same thing with the most powerful lens. And that looks a little closer, but I still think that it's a very reasonable working range for soldering. Mm -hmm. 
The other system is this very cheap microscope. It's actually not a USB microscope. It comes with a built-in LCD screen. And I think that's what makes it that there's virtually no delay. It's actually extremely simple. You just turn it on, a light turns on, and pretty much the only things you can do is adjust the focus here. And then the amount of light and then the distance to that. So, I mean, as you can see for such a cheap microscope, this is really good, the kind of images you can get out of this. So let's zoom in more in this. And at this point, this is awesome for review in the board, but this is too close of a distance here to do any kind of work. But you probably wouldn't be doing work at this kind of resolution. So I think that's totally fine. A more normal height for working maybe would be something like this. Like this, you still have a lot of magnification, but you have enough room to work in here. Here, I brought the soldering iron, it's not turned on, but it's just to give you an idea that, yeah, there is plenty of room. And let's see, I'm over here, yeah. So, I mean, that's a huge amplification. You probably would not even want to work at this, at this magnification like this. And as you can see, there's pretty much no delay. If you can see what I'm doing in the bottom and the top, Maybe there's a little bit of delay, but it's not enough to bother you while you're working. So I think this is perfect for that. This actually has a few other features, like you can put an SD card and you can take pictures from here and you can maybe even record video. I took a few pictures with the microscope and the results are okay. They look very contrasty and very black. The main thing that I noticed is that the images are at the wrong aspect ratio, which is really weird. When I resize them to four by three, then they look a lot more natural. The pictures, by the way, can be up to five megapixels, so that's pretty good. Overall, I think it's more than acceptable for taking pictures as you're inspecting a board or doing something similar. Then I went ahead and took a video at full 1080p, so that's pretty good resolution, and it almost looks better than the pictures. Maybe it's because it's moving. You can continue making the video while you're zooming in and out and changing the focus, and things look pretty good. One odd thing is that the microscope was also recording audio, which was just a bunch of noise. Maybe it's intended to leave some spoken notes as you're examining a circuit, but I thought it was a little odd. But in any case, the quality of video is pretty good. So the microscope is really great. It does what it sets out to do. And for that price, it's really hard to find anything better. I think you would have to go into the many hundreds of dollars to get something significantly better than this. So which of the two would I recommend in the end? Actually, I recommend both. They're quite different. The glasses have a lot less magnification, only up to times three. They're more versatile to be able to move around easily and work on smaller or larger boards. The microscope is great, I think, mostly for either super tiny stuff or just looking at joints and examining a board after the soldering. I mean, it can go supposedly all the way to 600 times, even though probably realistically it's less than that, but it's still way more than the magnifying glasses. So definitely recommend them both. And there are orders of magnitude cheaper than the alternatives that I kept seeing recommended in different forums when people were talking about electronic microscopes and other magnification systems. So that is it. I hope that review was helpful to you and it helped you decide whether it's worth getting those cheap solutions or wait for something more expensive or maybe nothing for now. Anyway, if you liked the episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Until next video, see you then. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting Noel's Retro Lab on Patreon or joining the membership on YouTube. Not only is that the best way to support this channel and allow me to continue making more videos, but you also get some extra perks like early access, ad-free videos, and more. Thank you again to all the supporters. See you next time.